it is time for our faith to be boosted as we listen to the praise reports of God's faithfulness across board. It is time for testimonies. If you are excited about hearing testimonies, I want you to shout aloud, hallelujah. We'll listen to the online testimonies and thereafter we will take the live testifiers. The first testimony online is from Pastor Chris and Carol Okworu from United Kingdom. Their teenage daughter had an accident in school and her toe bone got broken. She was limping and had been slated for surgery. They were connected to the service on Wednesday during this particular Holy Ghost Congress 2023 when Daddy Gio ministered and said, Our legs were created by God for his pleasure and we will walk and not be hindered. They held on to that word, anointed her ankle with oil and prayed. Whilst on the operating table, to the glory of God, the medical team found out there was no need to operate because they saw that the bones had been divinely repositioned. Praise the Lord. The second testimony is from Sister Elizabeth Inyabu from United States of America. She had been having pains on her foot for over eight months. But during the service on Wednesday this week, when Daddy preached on healing, she connected and prayed, and God healed her instantly. Hallelujah. The third online testimony is from Brother Olajide Aino from Ghana. He had been having sharp pains on his waist. He connected to the service on Wednesday, and when Daddy Gio was laying his hands on our mother in Israel, he placed his handkerchief on the TV and claimed his healing. He placed the handkerchief on, he placed the handkerchief on his waist and slept. When he woke up to the glory of God, he had no pain whatsoever. The pain had disappeared. Hallelujah. Sister Adeola Olubenga from Nigeria attended the August 2023 Beyond Expectations Convention whilst trusting God for a new job for her husband as he had been through several interviews with no success whatsoever. She held on to the word spoken by Daddy Gio that God will bless us beyond our expectations. And God did it. Because the following month, her husband was given a job with a fantastic salary and better working conditions than they expected. Praise the Lord. The next testimony is from Brother Akimbode Akinyemi from the United States of America. He had been suffering from a mysterious intense pain on his shoulder whenever he is asleep. On Wednesday of this Holy Ghost Congress, there's something beautiful about the Wednesday of this Holy Ghost Congress. After the message on healing, he prayed and commanded the pain to go, and the pain disappeared to the glory of God. Brother Theophilus Sagua from Nigeria had been experiencing a vibration and pain in his left ear. But after participating at the healing service on Wednesday at this Holy Ghost Congress, the vibration and pain stopped without any trace. Praise the Lord. Brother Ebenezer George from Nigeria had hemorrhoids and had been in pain and was crying. But to the glory of God, after listening to the message on Wednesday on healing, during this Congress, he discovered that the hemorrhoids had disappeared. The final online testimony. Sister Christiana Ajayi from Nigeria had been experiencing blood rushing out from her head through her nose severally for the past six years. 
But during the November 2023 Holy Ghost service, a word of knowledge came through Daddy Gio that the bleeding had stopped. She claimed it, and indeed, the bleeding stopped. No more bleeding. Who did it? We will now listen to the testimonies of the live testifiers. My name is Cynthia Samuel Olonjuan. I serve, I'm privileged to serve in the Redeemed Christian Church of God in Restoration Pavilion Parish in White Plains, New York. I'm one of those that uh, is guilty of what Daddy Gio said a few days ago, that we have testimonies, but we've been hiding them. I actually prefer to be under the radar, and I didn't want to have to come out, but I was, I was really convicted by what Daddy said. In 2015, I was here in the camp because in the conversation I had with my mommy, mommy Ababa, she felt it was important that I came to Nigeria at that time. And though I was feeling unwell, and I was locked down involuntarily in the camp, I was able to come for one of the services. And Daddy Gio said, you are here. You're knocking on one door. Many doors are going to be open. I didn't know what it was all about, but my spirit just received it and I jumped up. Two days later, my boss called me, telling me about a position that was available. I wanted to know if I was interested. I told him I would pray, I, I would come to him because I needed to pray. When I went back to my station, a few weeks after, I got another call. A wonderful position had become open. They wanted to know if I was interested. And I became confused because these were amazing promotions. I wanted them. So I spoke with mommy and daddy Ababa and they asked me to come to the camp. I came and they took me to daddy Gio to pray for me. And when daddy prayed, he said, one of the things he said was, Lord God, whatever the position, wherever the position that you have ordained for your daughter is, let it manifest and let her come into fulfillment. I went back to my duty station. The person who was occupying a senior level position in my organization retired and resigned suddenly, leaving us now to have three positions, all very high level positions. To the glory of God, I got one of them. While I was rejoicing, Mommy Gio came to where we were, and I was excited telling her about this great thing that had never happened before in my organization, one of the oldest multilateral institutions in the world. And she looked at me and she said, who is the boss? I looked at her, I said, Mommy, that one is political. I don't qualify, because I knew I didn't qualify. I don't have the government of Nigeria behind me. She laughed and she said, mm, okay. Four months later, the director general of my organization invited me to be the assistant director general of the organization for Africa. This is a position that is political. I don't deserve it. I had no godfathers, but thank God for Daddy Gio. Thank God for Mommy Gio. Thank God for the privilege of being under this unction to be able to benefit from the grace that the Lord has poured on this, part, on this church. Praise the Lord! My name is Sister Bosse Oye. Um, I give the glory to God for this testimony because it's a vow that I've come back to say thank you. In 2019, in, uh, in UK, the doctor diagnosed me with a, a cancer, a blood cancer. They found the cancer in my nose. And the doctor said that to me, and I said immediately, I rejected it. And then Mommy Gio called me one day and said, Daddy wants to pray with me on the phone. 
So I, he prayed with me, and then she came back on the phone and said, Daddy is coming to London the next week. This is 2019, October. And he said, would you like to see him? And he said, definitely, yes. So I went to see him, prayed a simple prayer for me. I took my mantle, he touched them. And I, I, as I was going out of his office, it was a one-to-one -one meeting. As I was going out of his office, halfway through his office, I just turned back at him and I said to him, I said, I'm coming back to testify. And he looked at me and he confirmed and he said, yes, you will. So I, and on that day, I just believed that God has healed me. After those days, I was admitted into hospital. I knew the tri tribulations will come, but I knew in me that God has done it. So many times I'll be dancing in the, in, the, in the room where they have put me because I know I'm just rejoicing. I wasn't behaving like somebody had had cancer. So I, now I now had another um, infection in the hospital which kills people. It's called MRSA. On that day, I just saw doctors coming from the eye intensive department with the shock, a shock thing, and they took me and rushed me to, to eye intensive. I actually died and two days later I saw and the doctor was telling my husband because he was in Abuja he had to come in and said your wife actually died but we here we give the God the glory I just want to say thank God for what he has done for me after that I did a bone marrow transplant to find a bone marrow transplant and have three of my siblings to match 100% is only God so I just want to give God the glory for that which he has done. I had a vow. I'm going to come back to this ground to say thank you. And here I am saying thank you. So I thank you to God of Baba Adeboye for what he has done in my life. And I say everyone in this place that has cancer or anything, oh Lord, just believe in God that he, what he has done for me, he will do it for you too. Oh, glory to who did it? Jesus. Oh, my God. Praise the Lord. Our names are Brother Olani Waju and Sister Blessing Ogutuga. We are from Lagos Province 80 in Region 31. Uh, we, I came to the convention in August this year with my wife, duly pregnant. She registered with um, the Lagos Province 78 redeem maternity home and they came together to the camp we were hoping she would deliver a baby in the camp but as god would have it she didn't while she was at the maternity home daddy went there and prayed for the pregnant women and she did a video record of him praying when we got home two weeks after she hasn't still delivered but a day before we went to the hospital for her to deliver a strange thing happened which made me know God is on this journey with us. I suddenly heard Daddy Gio's voice in my pocket praying for safe delivery. How the phone unlocked itself, went to the gallery and selected that very video I didn't know. I brought the phone out and told her to be saying amen. She was in pains. The next day we went to the maternity home and the matron there, Mommy Agbaje, she said this is, she, she ought to have given birth. Everything was so tense. The labor was life-threatening. After about two hours of hard labor, what came out from my wife, because I was in the labor room, didn't look like a child. It looked like a big, dead wall gecko. It was white. It didn't look like a baby at all. My face shook. I was afraid. The matron there brought the baby out and said, no, this didn't just happen because everywhere was smelling. Not only that the baby was dead, he was thinking. We couldn't swallow saliva. The matron said this baby has been dead since over two days. She placed it on the mother on the bed there and cried out in Yoruba that, and she started 
and she started praying in tongues. She brought out the, anoint, the anointed anchored sheep that Daddy Gio prayed upon, and she placed it on the baby. The power that rose Lazarus from the dead descended into the room, and the baby sneezed back to life. After they have stabilized the baby, after they've stabilized him, they went back to the mother to, to bet her of the placenta. But the matron discovered the placenta was totally ruptured inside her. It was like pieces of meat. It happened in my front. The matron started praying in tongues again and dipped her hand inside her and started bringing out the pieces of placenta. At the end of the day, a scan was run on her and there was no drop of blood in her womb. Who did this? Jesus. Oh my God. Let somebody shout a very big hallelujah. My name is Deaconess Mrs. Rosemary Keche Rondo. I'm here to testify for the goodness of God in my life and that of my family. I'm from International Church Center, Province 11, Region 46, Abuja. I got married in 2011. I waited on the Lord for 12 good years before God blesses me. During those periods, I had several miscarriages. I did one fibrous surgery and I did four failed IVF. Last year, before last year, one of the convention, I wrote a letter to Daddy Gio. One month after, I got a message that the Gio said that I shall soon testify that I should hold on to the Lord. Last two years, we came for the nation. We prayed together, and I told my God that next time I will come to this altar, I will come with my baby. Last year, I took him. This year, January, God blessed me with my baby boy. Praise the living Jesus. Let somebody shout hallelujah. Uh, our names are brothers and sister Bumi Akadiri. Uh, we will come here to give, God to, the glo to, to give God the glory, to thank the Lord, the God of our Father, the God of RCCG. Uh, it was sometimes last year, September, uh, we went for a normal routine, annual medical checkup, and it was discovered that my wife had some lumps in her, in her breast. So we were, you know, to go for further tests, you know, we did mammogram, PET scan, biopsy, and all that. So we waited for one. It came out in January, and it was confirmed she had stage two cancer. It was like a death sentence. We were panicked. We wrote to Daddy Gio. We wrote to Daddy Olawale prayer ring, and Daddy invited us during the special legal service in March. Daddy, we came around. Daddy prayed for us physically here, but I, we keep believing that she never had it that we believe the report of the Lord. And one of the words of the Lord that came true for us was what Daddy said last year, that our greatest problem of last year will be our greatest testimony this year. And we hold on to that word. We believe God. She went through the chemo, and uh, in June she completed it. We traveled to India for surgery. When we got to India, they repeated all the biospy, immunochemistry, and what have you. And uh, by the time they did the first test, they said it came out equivocal neither positive nor negative. Meanwhile, before we travel, she had a dream that the G.O. and that the Olawale came the same night to pay her a visit and started smiling on her and pray for her. And she was like me. They came to pray. So we believe it's a certain matter. But we were just following their normal procedure. The procedure they set for us here in Nigeria is that they will even cut off the breast and all that because it's aggressive and all that. But while we got to India, they did a test and they said it is neither positive nor negative. Uh, they, they said they should do the confirmatory test. In all these things, we were believing God, we were praying, and uh, you know, people were praying along with us that the Olawale also pray for us too. And by the grace of God, by the time they did the confirmatory test, it came out negative. And, uh, and uh, by the time they did the lumps, they removed the lumps to, the, to, to, the, to our greatest surprise, 
the rapid I mean the, the thing God healed up within few days, three, four, five days, less than a week. There was total healing and there was no traces that she even had surgery. We have come to say thank you to Daddy G, to God of Daddy Gio. We have come to say thank you to God of RCCG. May his name forever be praised. Okay, sorry. Praise the Lord. Praise the living Jesus. My name is Dikin Gladys Okie from Oyo Province 12, Region 21, Jesus Envoy. I'm here to fulfill my vow. The God of the Redeemed Christian Church of God did wonderful things in my life. 2018, I was here during uh, Daddy's uh, birthday. And Daddy said, God asked, and he asked God for gifts for children. And then he said, he asked God for uh, 50 uh, set of twins, three players, and thereabout. He said, you should, anyone you, you need, you should hold on unto God. Then I was not married. I jumped up, I said, God, I know you will remember me. And as Daddy was still ministry, he said, something that has not happened in your family. God said it will happen. I jumped up from where I was sitting. I said, God, nobody has given birth to twins in my family. When I got married, I will be the first to give birth to twins. How are you are going to do it? I don't know. To the glory of God, November that same year, I saw Daddy on my dream. When Daddy was passing, and I called Daddy, I said, Daddy, please pray for me. I look at me, I'm old, no husband, no children. Daddy said, you are going to marry this year, you are going to give birth to children. Inside my mind, I was not laughing. I said, how ah, is it going to happen? We are already in November. Holy Spirit, that minister told me, Daddy is not talking about the world calendar. He is talking about the redeemed calendar. I said, yes, there is hope. I said, that same November, I met my husband. To so the glory of God, 2019, June 15th, we got wedded. To so the glory of God, level month of my marriage, 2020, uh, May 19th, I gave back to a set of twins. Two nations. God gave me God's power, Okie. God win Okie. And I said, The world will hear about it. To the glory of God, the world hear about it. Today I say, May the name of the Lord be glorified in Jesus' name. Praise God. My name is uh, Mole Asimwe from Uganda. I've come to testify of God's faithfulness and goodness. In 2019, Daddy and Mommy Gio visited Uganda. At that time, I was working for the First Lady as her private secretary. She asked me to work, uh, to do protocol for Daddy and Mommy uh, Gio. While I was doing protocol for them, uh, one day they asked me how I want to be prayed for. I told them I wanted to be a member of parliament. At that time I was still undecided. I saw many things that were not ready, but they asked me to come with a hunky, a white handkerchief the next day. I brought the handkerchief, we wrote woman member of parliament for Wampara district. He prayed over it and I kept it in my handbag. After he had left, I joined the campaign trail. I met so much favor in the field. I met divine provision. I had not saved even one shilling for that campaign. Strangers would call me and give me money. I got free petrol uh, for, for the campaign. It was time for COVID. And in the village, when you use the, the mask, they say you are proud. So I did my campaigns without, without masks, but I never even got a cold. I thank God that I, I, I went through. Now as I speak, I'm a woman member of parliament for Wampara district. I thank God and daddy and, and uh, mama Gio. I honor and respect the anointing that is upon your life. May God's name be praised.
Praise the Lord. Praise Master Jesus. My name is Mr. and Mrs. Uh, Mokwin Henry Chike. I'm here to testify to the glory of God. Last year, uh, August Convention, we are here because we are believing a child for a baby girl. And uh, anytime, I, we, we already have two boys and a girl, but we are having, we are believing for a baby girl. So anytime uh, my wife takes in, she will have miscarriage. And uh, we, we say, look, let us come to the camp to make a vow to God. And that is that the GO said, the, if you are looking for a miracle child, you should come out. And my wife came out, and she was believing child for a baby girl. After that period, after that August, September, she took in. Then she took in, after she took in, we went for a test. On, uh, after two months, the doctor said, she is a triplet baby. And after that, she delivered the vow we make, we have the first baby girl that came out that day of the delivery, and we have extra two boys. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Our names are Dekin, Emmanuel Samson, and Sister Abumi. We are from Oshun Province 13. Uh, we are parish pastors. We got married in year 2012, and since then we'll be trusting God for the fruit of the womb. Uh, last year, we tried IVF. The first one we failed. And in that moment, a friend came from Ifo Ogun State and told us that he knows that we are children of God. But this time around, we need to try Ifa Oracle. He said it in Yoruba. He said, Ifa Luleshe, Jesu Luleshe. And we told him, he said, what God cannot do does not exist. That we will not bow to any other God. So we came to the Open Heaven International Center and we prayed to God and said, Father, we don't want to fail again. And we went for another procedure. And the day of the transplant, my wife saw that the Jew in the dream. And Daddy Joe smiled on her. And after then, we have the result. Joshua, Akin Tomewa, Uluwa Sindara, Mauton, Emmanuel. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. My name is Ade Dola Poyekon. I'm from Lagos Province 11, Victor's Chapel. The Banaco of Overcomers. When my baby was um, three months old, after the dedication, the night of the baby's dedication, my baby started behaving strangely. I took her to the hospital thinking it was a minor issue. The hospital told us that we had to go to a bigger one, they fed us to a bigger facility. So we went there. Those ones said, ah, it's beyond us. They had to refer us to. Federal Neurosocratic Hospital, Arrow, Yaba. We went there, they did some series of tests. They said it was a brain, it was from the brain that she was having neurological problem, that it was from the brain. So after the test, the test came out normal. But she was still acting strangely. I came to the camp, it was during the conversion. I came to the camp then and I wrote to our daddy, Gio. Our daddy Gio, they, he replied our message and said we should come last month at the Holy Ghost Congress, November. So we came last month, he laid hands on her. And ever since then, ever since then, she has been healed completely whole. No more involuntary nodding of the head, nothing, nothing. She's perfectly healed and fine. Who did it? I'm Mrs. Modupe Gali from Oyo Province 8, Region 44. I'm here to testify to the goodness of God over my son. I got married in the year 2022, and the Lord blessed me with the fruit of the womb. And when my pregnancy was three months, I started having threatening abortion, admitted often and often, so I was managed throughout. When it was seven months, I delivered the baby, and it was placed inside the incubator. Some months later, they gave the baby to me. We took him home. 
we took care of him. When it was five months, he was strong. So I rushed him to the, to the same hospital I delivered him. And there they referred us to UCH. They said they couldn't handle what is wrong. When we got to UCH, they said he has two holes in the heart. I was break down. I was crying. They told us that we met with the surgeon. We met with the surgeon, and the surgeon told us that it's five million for the surgery. And we should add first that he has just a month to leave. I cried. I ran to our province to meet the PP, and I told him. He said, I said, Daddy, I want to meet with Daddy Gio. I come to camp. I listen to testimonies, and my own would not be different. And, I, and we wrote to Daddy Gio, and I came to, to Holy God Service June, and Daddy lay hands on my son. Last month, I was bothered. I said, I want to repeat this test because I know I have a greater testimony to share to the children of God. And I went to UCH. They asked us, where are we here? I said, we are here to repeat the echo test again. They said, this baby does not look like one, but let's repeat it. To the glory of God. When they repeated the test, the doctor looked at my face and said, congratulations. The two holes are closed. Praise the Lord! Praise the Lord! I'm Dickness Ishewa Ketrin. I'm here to testify to the goodness of God and His faithfulness upon me and my family. My husband and I got married in the year 2005, and we've been waiting upon the Lord for our own children. <laughs> year 2022, I was, it was discovered that uh, I was pregnant that I was not really even sure because they told me did not even show nothing, no sign. But to God be the glory. In January, January this year. Sorry, 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 sorry. January this year, I was God gave us this miracle. It was a surprise, a big surprise. Even when I called my husband, because we we're not living together, he works uh, outside the uh, uh, Ondo State. He was happy, but some minutes later I called that. Ah, are you sure? I be sure. I said that. Ah, can I be playing? Because before I'd be doubting the woman that was treating me, but the woman was assuring me that the baby is there. That even if I'm not really sure that he will do the video. So my husband said I should send the photo. I said I will not only send the photo, I will even send the video. He was so happy. I just want to give thanks to God Almighty, and I want to use this medium to tell as men that are looking unto God. For this kind of miracle, just stick to the God. Stick to that God. Don't look elsewhere. I want to say a big thank you to Almighty God, the God of RCCG, the God of Daddy Adeboye. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. My name is Chuku Goziemoniawa, PICP, Rivers Province 3. I thank the Lord for the salvation of my soul. And I also thank the resurrection and the life for giving me life. Death came, but Jesus gave me life. On the 6th of August, on the 6th of August, here at the Redemption City, in my house, House 36, uh, Hagar Estate 3, 4.45 p.m. to 4.55 p.m., I went to have my bath to get ready for the evening session of the minister's conference. This minute, I was standing. I don't know what happened. When the Lord brought me back to life, I saw myself lying as in a coffin in the bathtub. How long I was out for, I don't know. I was the only one in the house. So when I finished, I called my friend, my best friend, Pastor Ben, who called the hospital here in the Redemption City and arranged for me to go there. I went there, they checked, did all the checks. Nothing was wrong. Everything was fine. 
and uh, but they said I should endeavor not to be alone so I went to stay with my family the following day pastor Ben and I went to you but when we got there I discovered that my leg was beginning to swell my right leg was swelling so painfully and uh, eventually he arranged for me to go to teaching hospital in Uyo, where they discovered that I had uh, what they call deep vein thrombosis DVT in my right leg and uh, I came back to Lagos on Wednesday he I went to Lutz so all through the convention was going on I was going back and forth Lutz and then eventually they did the brain MRI chest x-ray everything nothing was wrong other than that there was blood clot in my legs I went back to Port Harcourt and September I went to Canada when I got to Canada because I wasn't breathing properly and I couldn't talk clearly I had to be coughing and clearing my throat while talking so I went back to the hospital in Canada and on Monday they called me back on Monday the 25th of September and said you have to come back to do an MRI I went there to do an MRI and they discovered that the blood clot was in my lungs and they were looking at me that how come I was alive it's still a miracle today I remained with them I just got back two weeks ago I want to thank God that I am seeing everyone in camp it will have been obituary but I'm seeing everyone in camp and I'm participating at the Congress uh, death, the de death came but Jesus gave me life so join me to say Jesus thank you for the resurrection and the life who gave me life in Jesus name God bless you Praise the Lord, church. Our names are Tokwe and Eunice Olajide from uh, Day Spring Parish, RCCG Day Spring Parish, Rivers Province uh, 4, Region 5, Port Harcourt. We thank God for the salvation of our soul. We got married on the 5th of April 2007. And as a young couple, we decided to start having our children early. But to our greatest surprise, five years into the marriage, ten years into the marriage, there was no single pregnancy, not to talk of miscarriages. It was so disturbing. Uh, we actually wrote to our father in the Lord when he got to seven years in that marriage. We got a reply from our Father and the Lord, surprisingly, and the reply was, don't worry, you will soon testify. We hold on to that word, and we kept on praying. By the special grace of God, 2021 September, it was, the, 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 the theme was, you shall be fruitful. We head on to that word in that month of September, and we prayed. In October 2021, the team was exceeding expectation. We logged on because we were we are in Port Harcourt. We prayed like never before, brethren. When it was November 2021, the team was the appointed time. Brethren, it was indeed the appointed time for my family. Why? Because my wife conceived for the first time in that, in, in, in that marriage. And the journey started. At a point, we were praying, trusting God for the fruit of the womb. I, I, I told God that even if it is one, Please, God, give it to us and we are okay. But the Bible says, instead of your shame, I will give you a double portion. You know what happened, church? Mercy said no. On the Friday, 15 July 2022, the Lord showed my family mercy. 
And he gave us a set of triplets at a time. Three wonderful girls. Baby one, he gave us splendor. Tite mitokpe, adru amigba. Baby two, he gave us excellence. Tito lu, tito biloluwa, adru alongba. Baby three, he gave us good news. Tio luwa nimi, adru amitigba. I want to use this medium to, you know, tell Daddy Gio that we have brought these children to the Lord in fulfillment of our pledge to him that if God can give us one, that he later gave us three. After 15 years of marriage, church, praise the Lord! Who did it? Oh, this God is good. He opens doors in multiple ways when you knock one. He heals completely. He brings the dead back to life. He makes wombs fruitful. Not for one. J twins. Triplets. He backs up his word unto manifestation. Come on, lift your hands unto the Lord and worship him. Worship this God. Worship this God. I, this kind God, another one know the old. Amen. 